Point six is going beyond the headlines now as towns and cities across the Northwest are struggling with how to fix their crumbling water systems. Our digital reporter Amanda Arden has been exploring this complicated issue. Earlier, I sat down with her to talk about her first in a series of in-depth stories focusing on how small local communities are struggling to foot the bill. And I know for decades, this country hasn't really invested properly in the infrastructure. Is that what you found? Yeah, definitely. Um, a recent survey that was conducted late last year, over 100 Oregon cities found that they have $9.7 billion in water infrastructure needs. And um, this is falling heavily on ratepayers. Ratepayers say that they don't have the means to, to pay higher utility bills. And um, the per capita cost in smaller cities is especially difficult for them to, to cover. And you have an example of a small city going through this, right? Yeah, I spoke to the mayor of Amity, and Amity has been in what's been a five-year process of upgrading their water infrastructure, um, their water intake system, water storage tanks. Um, they have wooden pipes that are so old that, uh, you know, they're, they're leaking like crazy, mm -hmm. and they just really need to replace them. One water tank has been out of commission for several years because it's just deteriorating, and they can't put water in it that people drink. So it's been a long process and you know they've had to apply for a lot of loans to to undergo these projects that they have to take on. You touched on it um, and I want to talk about this more. When you have a small town you don't have very many people to tap into, no pun intended, to spread the cost out, right? So it can be very expensive for people? Yeah, exactly. So fewer ratepayers means that if you have a big water infrastructure project that needs to be done, fewer people to divvy the cost up to. And you can uh, read much more about the challenges facing Oregon and Washington systems that bring water to your home and take wastewater away. Amanda's in-depth series is available right now at coin.com.